Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, we come before your very presence at this moment. Lord God Almighty, I'm going to share what I have in my heart. And I'm praying that you will touch the hearts of people who are listening to this message. Holy Spirit, I'm praying so that you will lead me, that you will guide me, and you also will guide the hearts of people who are listening. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for the Word of God. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in our life. And you are ready to deliver your message to all of us. Thank you, Jesus. We commit this time into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please allow me to share at this time from Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. I'm going to read it, uh, and my Bible is uh, NIV. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I like to mention here that uh, Jesus was talking to his disciples. Jesus was talking to people who followed him. Jesus was talking to people who knew him. Jesus was talking to his disciples. Jesus wasn't talking to the world. He was talking to his disciples. He was talking to his sheep. And according to the book of John, chapter 9 or chapter 10, verse 4, it says, when he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Jesus was talking to people who knew his voice. And I believe that this is still true nowadays. At this moment also, Jesus is talking to all of us. All of us who know his voice. All of us who are part of his disciples. Not part of the world. But to his disciples. And this is very important. Because this message that Jesus delivered to his disciples. Was something that his disciples had to listen. Was something that this, his disciples had to really listen carefully. And Jesus said here, whoever wants to be my disciple. So it doesn't matter who they are. Old, young, rich, poor. Whoever wants to become Jesus' disciple. And some people after they have received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. They stop right there. Some people, they stop at the point when they receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. They think that it is the end of it. They think that that is it. And we have to realize that is wrong. Because when we step into the faith, when we decide to follow Jesus, when we receive Him out as our personal Lord and Savior, that is only the first step. And we have to take the step after that. We have to do something after we have decided to follow Jesus, after we have received Him into our heart. There is something else that we have to do. And this is exactly what Jesus said to his disciples. If you want to become my disciple, after you have become my disciple, what shall you do? What shall I do? And Jesus said here, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves. We have to deny ourselves. Denying ourselves 
equals following Jesus. Many people don't realize what it means by following Jesus. What it means we follow Jesus. Many people think that following Jesus it means accepting him as our savior. Accepting the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus on the cross. That is not wrong, but that is only half the truth. We have to also accept him as our Lord. We accept Jesus Christ as our master. Following Jesus doesn't stop at accepting him, his sacrifice on the cross. What but we also must deny ourselves. We deny our flesh desires. That is also part of following Jesus. So if we follow Jesus, we must deny ourselves. We cannot say that we follow Jesus but at the same time we do not want to deny ourselves. We have to deny ourselves because that is part of the consequences of following Jesus. Everyone who follows Jesus, everyone who calls on the name of Jesus, everyone who is part of Jesus disciples must deny themselves and this is the word of god this is not my word i also must deny myself i must learn to deny myself every day and we have to learn to do that every single day it's a process of life it it is something that we have to do for the rest of our life here on earth we have to learn every day to deny ourselves to deny our flesh desires because we are following Jesus we are not following the world we cannot become part of the world we cannot be the same with the world following Jesus means that we separate ourselves from the world it doesn't mean that we have to avoid making friends with people in the world but we must not conform with the behaviors of the people that belong to the world we must separate ourselves we must look different we are different we are not the same with people of the world because we are following jesus It is time for us to assess what we have done so far. It is time that we come before God humbly. It is time that we say to the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, please teach me, help me deny myself. Denying ourselves requires repentance, not just one time repentance, but it is a type of repentance that we have to do every day because we have to remain steadfast in denying ourselves denying ourselves is not just one day experience it is something that we must do every single day in our lives when we wake up in the morning that is a new day and that is a fresh day for us to deny ourselves that is why every day we need to come before god that is why we have to store up god's commandments in our hearts that is why we have to love jesus christ with all of our mind with all of our soul with all of our strength we have to love him that is what it means following jesus you deny yourself every day you have to remain steadfast every day you have to deny and that is what it means following jesus separating ourselves from the world because we are different we are not the same with people of the world we belong to jesus christ 
you and I are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We do not belong to the world. We belong to the Spirit of the living God. We have to deny ourselves, our flesh desires. We are meant to overcome ourselves by the help of the Spirit of the living God. We are to overcome our flesh desires. I'm so blessed with the preaching of Pastor Tommy last week. We are measured by the spills, our spills. What is inside of us will spill over. When we get disturbed, when we get annoyed, what is inside of us will spill over. And if what is inside of us is good, then we are going to spill out something good. If what is inside of us is bad, then we are going to spill out something bad. When we deny ourselves every day, when we crucify our flesh every day, when we follow Jesus every single day in our lives, we are going to spill over something good. Because the Spirit of the living God is working in an awesome way inside of us. When we deny ourselves every day, the Holy Spirit is pleased. God is pleased. When the Holy Spirit is pleased, He is going to manifest His Himself through us. He's going to shine forth His truth through us. And that is what we have to do. Talking about denying ourselves is not easy. It is never easy. It is something that most people don't like. Our flesh hates talking about denying ourselves. But this is what the Word of God says. We have to deny ourselves ourselves we have to overcome ourselves we have to let the fruit of the spirit to flourish inside of us we have to be tested every day we have to go through trials every day and that is part of denying ourselves Be joyful when you are tested. Be joyful when I am tested. Be joyful when we are tested. Rejoice when we go through many different trials in our lives. Because that is when we can deny ourselves. And we have to remain steadfast. We have to remain steadfast every day. We have to cry out to the Holy Spirit to help us every day. Spirit of the living God is the power of God. And God invested that power in us. So that we have the power to deny ourselves. So we have the power to become children of God. The power to become children of God means that we have the ability to deny ourselves. The power of God also means that we can perform healings and miracles to those who need healing. Yes, but more than that, the power of God that God gave to us is the ability to deny ourselves. It goes beyond the healing power that He wants us to give to those who need. Beyond that, beyond the greatest miracle that God gives to us is the power to change. The power to deny 
ourselves. You got that power. It is time for us to repent. It is time for me to repent. If you are listening to this message and the Spirit of God is talking to you, bow down and pray and cry out right now and say, God, change me. Help me deny myself. Because that is what is pleasing to Him. That is what is pleasing to God. The real worship that we can give to God is when we offer up our life as a living sacrifice. What does it mean that we offer up our life, our body as a living sacrifice? It means we deny ourselves. My friends, this is what I have in my heart. This is the conviction that God also gives to me that I have to deny myself. And I believe all of us must deny ourselves. Because He's coming back. He is coming back to pick us up. He wants to see His bride. When He comes back, He wants to see His bride spotless. And God wants us to deny ourselves. Let us do this together. It is not easy. It is never easy. But we can ask the Holy Spirit to help us. And this is the word of God. This is the word, the loving word from Jesus Christ that we have to deny ourselves. Let's read on. What does it say? And take up their cross and follow me. Matthew 16, 24. Whoever wants to be my disciples must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Taking up their cross equals bearing the pain of denying ourselves. When we deny ourselves, there is pain. But that pain is nothing compared to death. The pain of denying ourselves by comparison, it is so light than death. That's why Jesus once said, Take up my yoke. Because it is easy. It is light and easy. Denying ourselves does not mean we are going to experience death. We are going to experience life. Let us read verse 25. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will find it. So it means when we deny ourselves, we will find life. Denying ourselves. Yes, there is pain associated with, with it. There is suffering associated with it. But the pain and the suffering are nothing compared with the glorious life that we are going to attain in the future. The pain and suffering of denying ourselves are considered joy when we think of the kind of reward that we are going to receive from God. Remember, the sheep of Jesus Christ will listen to this message. This message is not for everyone. This message is for the sheep that belongs to Jesus Christ. Because the sheep that belongs to Jesus Christ will listen, will know the voice that comes from the heart of Jesus Christ. And this is the message that comes from His heart. We have to embrace it. 
We have to learn to deny ourselves. We have to learn to take up our cross. Yes, it is painful. Yes, there is suffering in taking up our cross, in denying ourselves. But that is what it means following Jesus. If we want to follow Jesus, we will endure it. We will remain steadfast because that is what we know that we have to do to please Him. And Holy Spirit is going to help every one of us. I believe this message is for me and for all of us. Let us embrace this message. Let us commit ourselves. Let us bow down before God. Let us accept our destiny. Let us embrace the truth. That this is the kind of lifestyle that I am going to have for the rest of my life. Here on earth. That I have to learn to deny myself. And take up my cross. Blessed are those who come with open ears. Blessed are those who come with an open heart. Holy Spirit is going to change all of us because He is with us until the end of time. Amen and Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I'm thankful, I'm grateful that I was able to deliver the message that I had in my heart. Holy Spirit, this is your message and I'm praying God that you will touch every one of us you will touch everyone who listens to your message you will be with all the sheep that belong to Jesus Christ and we know your voice thank you Holy Spirit for being with us come and change me Come and change everyone. We pray that you will bless everyone. In Jesus' name, amen.